Hi, my name is Ernest, and in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate Ajax Search Pro with Elementor's Loop Grid. First off, let's take a look at the screen, what we're going to need for it. So obviously, you're going to need Ajax Search Pro if you don't have a license, link in the description below. You're also going to need Elementor, Ele Elementor Pro. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use WooCommerce because I already have some products that I can test on. It's obviously not mandatory. So let's start off by navigating to Ajax Search Pro and let's create a new search bar. Let's call this product search. Click on the gear icon to access the search settings. We obviously want to, need, want to search uh, products, so let's just grab it, put it there, and just disable anything else. To make it more interesting, let's just create a filter. So let's click on the front and search settings panel, and I'm going to adjust some settings how I like them. So set the search settings visible by default. Yes, I want to do that. And the position I want to be block as it, it doesn't float over the content. Then let's click on categories and taxonomy terms and let's add the product categories. I'm just going to grab all of them. And now when I open the preview, it should look something like this. Very nice. I think this is going to be perfectly fine. Let's scroll down, save all tabs. Now, let's go to the search behavior, search Elementor archive shop page results, and let's just scroll down into the Elementor post widget live filter section, because we're going to need this text very soon. All right, let's create a loop grid template. Under the templates tab, let's go to add new. I'm just going to select a loop item for products and call this yes product loop item elementor is going to open up it's going to offer some templates but, but we're not going to use that we're just going to create a template however bad it's going to look so it, it's just going to be very simple i'm just going to add the product title say okay maybe it's this is a little bit big i think we can also add the featured image right that looks nice let's just let's do it like this very simple very easy so let's just hit on publish let's go back to wordpress because now we need a page let's go to pages let's create a new page and maybe call this okay we don't need this let's just call it product example products example actually i'm gonna just hit publish right away and then edit with elementor Let's click on the plus button, select flex box, and oh, let's use this layout. In this side, I'm going to add the loop grid. So search for loop. Yeah, loop grid. Let's quickly configure that this is for the products. And let's try to find a product loop item. And I think I'm just going to use maybe two columns. I don't know. Maybe this is going to be too much, but Okay, let's, let's try with two columns. Now, as I previously mentioned, we left the Ajax Search Pro tab open. So let's click on the advanced options and scroll down to CSS classes. Let's go back to Ajax Search Pro and just grab this CSS class and put it here. This is going to help Ajax Search Pro to identify which item is the loop grid. Now, we need one more thing and it's the search bar. So let's go to find a short goal grab it here. The easiest way to find a search short code is to just click to Ajax Search Pro and here it is. Let's put it here and if all goes well, our search and filters should be there. So let's publish this page now. Let's exit to WordPress and save this again just to be sure. And here it pops up view page. Well, it's not too wide, but there it is. Let's try searching for logo there you go it's working okay let's just try to exclude clothing and as you can see we are getting the results we're looking for so yeah that's it that's how simple it is thank you very much for watching and have a nice day